hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming one of the user has asked me to uh, explain like how to easily remember variables in HDTM DM domain so we will see that with an example let us say we have a clinical trial in which drug A is being compared with drug B and there is a subject in this clinical trial and this subject is participating in the clinical trial under an investigator or the physician. So let's assume that in this study there is a screening period during which the subject would be tested for eligibility and then uh, the subject would receive a placebo treatment during the period called run-in in which to test the whether the subject will be able to comply and comply with the dosing schedule or dosing requirement and then followed by the study treatment which means either drug A or drug B will be given based on the tre uh, treatment to which the subject is randomized to and then after study treatment period the subject would be followed up for a specified period of time. So this is the basic study design uh, we will be using to explain the variables in DM domain. So in for every clinical trial we know that there will be a identifier and that information is stored in a variable called study ID. So now for every subject in DM domain so we will have a variable called subsid to store the unique identifier for that subject in that study and if a subject is participating in more than one study we have the concept called unique subject identifier if a subject is participating in more than one study within a protocol uh, within a molecule or a particular uh, group of studies so we will have a variable called unique subject identifier which is used to store the same identifier across all these related studies that information will be stored in u sub j d so sub j d is study specific unique identifier u sub j d is uh, identifier which is common across a group of studies if the subject is participating in multiple studies so if a subject is part if the participating in only one study in most of the cases u sub j d will be corresponding to the sub j d along with the study a d component concatenated to the sub j d in u sub j d variable now we have our three variables to store the information related to investigator so each investigator will have an office or a clinic so we call that as a site in clinical trial terminology so we have a variable called site id to store that information and then along with that so in some cases what can happen is within a clinical site there can be multiple investigators participating in a clinical trial so we have a variable called INV ID so which is an identifier for the investigator and also a variable called INV NAM for investigator name so we have three variables which are related to the investigator site ID investigator ID and investigator name so so far we have seen five six variables study id for clinical trial identifier for subject we have sub jd which is study level unique identifier and u sub jd common across a submission or a group of studies and site id inv id and inv nam along with these variables we may have some variables uh, some uh, factors which affect the drug metabolism or activity so we collect that information also in our demographics domain so some such variables are the age of the participant sex of the participant and then race of the participant and also the ethnicity of the participant so some of the factors which affect drug metabolism are like age sex race and ethnicity so this information would be collected in dm domain so along with this so we also collect the country of the subject so because in some cases the standard of care between countries may vary in a multi-central trial so it may be of importance to understand if there are any country to country differences in the effect observed so we also collect the country information and that is stored in a variable called country now let us come to 
में द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स सो फॉर एवरी सब्जेक्ट टू पार्टिसिपेट इन ए क्लिनिकल ट्रायल ही और शी शुड प्रोवाइड इनफॉर्म्ड कंसेंट सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट डेट सो द सब्जेक्ट वुड बी प्रोवाइडिंग consent to participate that date of that consent is stored in a variable called rf icdtc so this will be the earliest date for a subject seen on study so we have parallel to this variable to the start of this concept this is related to the starting concept so similarly we have a, a opposite variable which is used to capture the end date which is rf p e n d t c so this variable is used to store the end of part uh, participation end date for each subject so these two variables are in parallel rf i c d t c is the earliest date uh, of the subject on study and then rf p e n d t c is the latest date uh, for each subject on the study and now we have seen in an earlier example where we have seen that rf s t d t c versus rf x s t d t c we have seen that all the exposure information will be stored in rf x s t d t c variable so in this case so along with the study treatment we have a prior period called run in period during which the subject is exposed to placebo so this entire this thing is called as exposure so let's use a different color so this entire period is exposure related information on study so we have a set of variables which is used to capture the exposure of any protocol specified treatment here both the placebo and run in period and the study treatment are protocol specified exposure periods so we have a set of variables to capture the start and end dates of this exposure so those variables are rf x s t t t c and rf x e n d t c so these variables will generally be equivalent to the earliest and latest dates in sdtm ex domain so and so we have covered two more like one more pair of variables the first pair of variables was rf i c d t c and rf p e n d t c which is used for earliest date and latest date for that subject across the study and then rf x s t d t c and rf x e n d t c is used to store the earliest and latest dates for any protocol specified exposure so but and we have next concept called study treatment specific so let's say the sponsor is interested in this specific period so let's use a different color here again so as we have used so let's say the reference period for the sponsor is this study treatment period so we have a variable called rf s t d t c which is the sponsor different reference start date and the end date for the study treatment is rf e n d t c so these two variables can be chosen by the sponsor let's assume that the sponsor is defining the uh reference period as the start date of the reference uh, study treatment and end date of the study treatment as the reference end date so we have another pair of variables rf s t d t c and rf e n d t c so we have now seen three pairs of variables i c d t c rf p e n d t c x s t d t c x e n d t c and uh study reference period start and end dates which is rf s t d t c and rf e n d t c so we have seen another pair of variables so we have one more pair of variables so it is the subject's birth date and if the subject dies on the study so we also collect the death date for that subject if the subject death did not happen while the subject is on the study so we will populate it with a null value but if the subject dies on the study the date of death will be captured in the variable called dth dtc 
now we have seen four pairs of variables icdtc pndtc xstdtc xendtc rfstdtc rfendtc brthdtc and dthdtc and we have variables that will be used to store the subjects so we have we know that the study treatment can sometimes differ from the planned and actual so we have set of variables called arm cd which is used to store the short version of the treatment arm to which the subject is assigned and the long version for the uh, description of the arm will be present in the variable called arm for plant and similarly parallelly for actual arm we have a variable called actual arm cd and actual arm to store the actual arm to which uh, the subject was exposed to so we have now identified majority of the variables seen in sdtm dm domain let's say this entire information is collected on a particular date so we have a variable to store that information so that is dm dtc the date of collection of this demographic related information would be stored in dm dtc so we know that every dtc will have a parallel study day variable if it is a timing variable so we also have dm dy so these are the variables that will be seen in sdtm dm domain so let us quickly try to identify it with numbers and see how many variables we have identified so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 for birth rate 14 for death rate and 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and 25 so we will be able to easily <coughs> recollect all 25 variables if we follow this logical flow so let us try to recap once so for clinical trial we have study id so for subject we have two variables sub id and u sub id for investigator we have three variables site id investigator id and investigator name so we have most of the variable date variables in sdtm dm domain occur in pairs so the first pair is rf ic dtc versus rf p and dtc and the second pair is rf xst dtc versus rf x e and dtc and the third pair is rf st dtc and rf e and dtc and the fourth pair is brth dtc and dth dtc so we let's we have one more variable called dthfl to indicate whether a subject has died or not so we have dthfl in parallel to dth dtc so if the subject died so this variable would be populated with a value of y so dthfl and then we have plan treatment related variables and actual arm related variables for planned arm so the variables are arm cd and arm for actual arm uh, we have actual arm cd and actual arm and there are certain variables which affect the drug metabolism or activity so those variables are age sex race ethnicity and country so that information is also collected in dm domain and then we have dm dtc to store the date on which the particular demographic related information is collected and we have the associated dm dy variable which is used to store the study day of dm dtc so we have 26 variables in total that can be easily be remembered if we use this logical flow thank you for watching and keep learning